Hey guys, in today's video, I'm answering an email request that I got, and that's how to change your blog layout in Squarespace. If you're new here, my name is Louise of solopreneursidekick.com, and I put out new tech tutorials every Tuesday and Thursday to help you grow your online business. Now, this reader wanted to know how to create a blog in a grid style format. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. All right, so this is what I mean by a grid style layout, okay? So the first thing that we're going to do is check whether or not your template already allows for this. So I'm just going to go into Squarespace, then click design, and then style editor and make sure that you are viewing your blog on the right side of the screen. So now I'm just going to click right around the blog area and you'll see this blue thin line appear. So click on that. And once you do that, your blog styling options are going to appear on the left side. So as you can see here in this template, it says style grid and I can change this to stacked. Now stacked is this more traditional layout. Let me just save it for you because it's not displaying it correctly. So let's just refresh this. So this is what more of a traditional blog style looks like. So they're all stacked on top of the other. Okay. So check your style editor first and see whether or not your template allows you to change the style. So let's say that your template didn't allow for this. Not to worry, there is another way to do it. So you're going to click back and then pages. And you need to make sure that you do already have blog posts in there. And you'll be able to tell that you've done this correctly if there's a little A next to your blog, okay? So if you don't have any posts yet, click on the plus sign and then select blog with the A and add a few blog posts, all right? So once you've done that, you're going to scroll down to the not linked section and then you're going to click on the plus sign and this time select a page and you're going to title this blog and click start editing. Next, you're going to go to your gray teardrop shape and then you're going to scroll down to where it says summary grid. So click on that. And then because you've already created the blog, you will see blog under this section here. So click on that, and this is basically going to pull up the post that you have already written. And then you're going to click layout. And here you can change the aspect ratio. So this is how the image displays. I'm going to change it to auto. Then this column width here is how you would adjust how big or small your images are. So if I drag this over to the right, it's going to make my images larger. I'm going to do four, okay. And then this gutter width is the space in between your images, so I can reduce that spacing. And then I can change the text size, the alignment, and the metadata position, which is the date down here. There's a few more things we can do, so you're going to click display. And as you can see, uh, number of items is how many numbers, how many items in total that it's going to display. Then you can choose whether you want to show your title, thumbnail, excerpt, and a read more link. So I would definitely add in this read more link. And if you want, you can actually hide the date. So you can change this drop down. You can either choose a different type of metadata or you can just change that to none. All right. And that's it. So as you can see, it will now display your blog as a grid. So click save. And then you'll notice though that we still have our blog posts up here and then our new version that we've created down here. So what you're going to do is you're actually going to switch these. So you would drag your blog 
posts down here and drag up the page with our summary block right above here. So this is the one that your visitors will click on and that's the one that will be visible to them. But for you to add all of your blog posts, you're going to do it down here. Now the one important thing to note about this method is that when you click on edit and then display, you'll notice that the maximum posts you can do is 30. So in this case, you might have to get a bit creative if you have a lot of different blog posts. So it's not a perfect alternative, um, but it still can work really well. So what you could do, for example, is you could categorize all of your blog posts, and then you could filter by a category down here. So for example, if I only wanted to display my Squarespace blog posts, all I would have to do is do that and I could click apply. So that's probably what I would do. I would, if you had a ton of different posts, I would create a new page like this for each category. And then on the top of each page, I would just make sure that I had a button at the top with my category name. So you could just add in some buttons like this. And then you could lead each of these buttons to the correct grid page filtered by category. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions at all, just leave them for me in the comments and I will get back to you there or create another video. That's it for this video. I hope that you learned a lot. If you're just getting started with Squarespace, I have an awesome free guide that will really help you out. And I will leave a link to that in the comments below. Other than that, make sure that you hit subscribe so that you don't miss another video and I'll see you guys soon.